Uh, hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Super PC. I'm ready to show with tech. I'm just gonna give you some deep random stuff on the new studio. Now, we got professional mics like that one over there. You see it pop filter and all that. Sorry, this video is a little quality. I just wanted to shoot this on my webcam because I wanted to get out of the way. But it's gonna, we're gonna have professional mics like that. I just wanted to tell you what, guys, what type of cables they use and everything. Now, first of all, these are these are all like XLR cables. These are really professional mics, so we need a mixer and all that. We have multiple mics. Two, actually, uh, <laughs> literally, like, multiple, like, two, or multiple means. But multiple would be more, so literally two. Not one, but two mics. And they use these professional XLR cables. And one of them also, let me, uh, grab it. I don't know if I can show you from here, but it's, I now need a tube amp. This little box that uh, amplifies the signal coming from the microphone. And these, all these are working together. Plugged in with a broadcasting. Brings you the future of fancy show tech. With multiple input, outsource sources, everything. My other mic doesn't just that one. And we'll have a mixer, uh, I think right next to me. And yeah, so. I just unbox the two wrap. It's been sitting around in my home for weeks because for weeks I haven't used this equipment. So, yeah. Here's uh, my keys. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, let me get some. See if I have some other equipment. Let me show you some of our less professional equipment. Uh, here's a consumer grade uh, TV thing. You might think, what is this? Oh, wow. I'm thinking I'm a little bit high in technology. Since we're doing standard desk streaming, Looky here. How does that apply to standard desk streaming? You're wondering. It ain't USB or nothing for internet streaming. Well, I have cameras who use in different devices that use these inputs, and I'll be able to switch between them, like little port does for half the for not not for any on his dollar. You know, he's to recall centers himself broadcasting pennies on dollar. I'm broadcasting pennies on his pennies. You know, uh, broadcasting on the dollar. <laughs> so the point. It's just a little small box. We've used these in the past. We've never had Clarice using these. We've only had like one or two. Never had like three probably. Devices on here. Once I get another camera for this, it'll be an HD camera, but it'll be on SD ones on this switcher. It has a uh, hand def and high def inputs, and then at the end it has outputs for everything. That's S video HD, some HD, not HDMI, but you can get those at Walmart and stuff. And it has also the regular RGB lines right there. You see, uh, here's an input with just that. And, and S, S video, so if we ever want to like, get a separate HD thing going on, we had cameras with those other um, output input things or S video going on. We could do that with this, but I think I'd buy another device for it. Like, you can get HDMI switchers, actually. Doesn't that work good? So, this thing works pretty simultaneously. When you press the buttons, I'm going to make a video later going into more detail about everything and showing you everything. When you press these buttons, it switches between cameras. Normally, people would use this if they had, like, a DVD player and a VHS, VHS player and a cable box or something and switch between them, but... Pioneering in tech brings you fancy show tech. So this is pennies on the dollar, you guys. This box right here. This box lets me broadcast for pennies on the dollar compared to other systems of broadcasting. Switching between different inputs. I have a few uh, cameras to plug in the computer. Let me show you how I convert the video into a computer readable format. I have this little box right here. It's, this box is a Elgato video capture card. It captures the output from, uh, this, oh crap, spray if we'll pick that up. And it captures the output, these outputs, in here. They go into here using cables. And the other end, guess where it goes, in the USB port. And then every time I go live, I'll launch a program and have cameras capture the, the, the video part of that application. It's a little workaround because at the time I bought this device on Vita, I have separate one soon. It recognizes it as some sort of Firewire webcam. I really need to. 
this device recognizes as a as like it works with the program, then I can do it through cameras as it pumps 640 for a video through this thing. El Goto. And I have a few other things. <laughs> Studio is so awesome. Like, you're able to raise funds for a few of uh, the equipment around here. I just got shed. Still to claim it. Put some stuff somewhere else. Got shed. So, yeah, it's going to be our new studios. I'll let me show you all my cameras. If I can pull it over here. It's just an old one. I'm going to order an HD one this weekend. It should be arriving later in the week. I'm doing Tech Tuesdays on Tuesday and Mac Review Weekly soon. Probably on Friday of next of the week coming up. It's May 6th right now for perspective. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this up today. So I'm going to really put this over here. But yeah. I might also use this. I might be able to input this into the mixer. I'm not sure how. This also works with a few other things. I'm going to put that sign. I have a Mac Mini G5 in the corner. Now we like used to play YouTube videos and music and different things, so uh, you guys don't want to tell you that. Right now I'm on my MacBook Air, but I will be getting the iMac in here. Definitely. That's a quick video for you. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. You guys gotta see this. This is the same thing Will Report uses in a studio so guests can listen to the live feed. It's a um, micro amp. Micro amp HA400. You turn these little knobs and there's these inputs on the back. So I'll be using this to let guests to listen to Skype and themselves and everything. It's really nice. I guess got this one coincidence. I'm not realizing Leo used it. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, Leo uses it. Cool. So you can use this to, like, look headphones and I'll be buying headphones. These little adapters, like in here, to could. And depending on what type of headphones I might buy these types, except maybe one of the headphones, if we have a lot of guests ever that need to use these. These boxes are good. These little small boxes really do signal well. I'll talk to you guys later. I had to make this video because I've been so excited and I wanted to share with you guys. Oh, you guys have seen this Tech Tuesdays and would provide that well of an equipment thing at all. We're going over the rest of the equipment soon, including those lights over there. There are photo lights. You could you've seen them the whole video. I forgot all about them. I was so excited about the other stuff. The Mac Mini, by the way, has an adapter that goes into this. So you'll be able to see the screen. I'll be like on the little port, actually. I've tried this out. It works, guys. You guys might have even seen it before. Screen of different computers. You can switch from this to this. Whatever you want. I like it. Yeah, I hope you guys love it. And I will talk. To you later. Peace. Peace.